Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Stellaris on a Stellaris Saturday. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode one, and this is what we're going to be doing on Saturdays for the foreseeable future, uploading Stellaris videos. Before we get started, let's talk about mods, because no matter what I do, putting the mod in the description below, people will still ask, what mods are you using? So we're just going to get it out of the way on the first episode. We're using detailed tool tips, remastered, very nice and easy. E.g. dimmer core, even though there's a warning on it, it still works. It dims the core in the game. Tiny fleets and tiny outliner version 2. These things are required to work together. Well, tiny outliner is required for tiny fleets to work. It just makes everything in the outliner smaller, a little more manageable. No prime. It makes it so that when you're renaming planets, they don't automatically change to the name of the planet plus prime. Instead, they keep the three or four or five designator, whatever numeric designator they have. Thank goodness. Unique system spawn. I was chasing steam achievements the last time I was playing this game, and I needed certain unique systems to spawn. They don't always spawn. It's very random. So this mod makes sure that all unique spawns happen. Or supposedly it does. I haven't had a chance to play with it very much, so I'm just leaving it on for now. There are so many story elements in this game wrapped around the unique systems in the game. It seems like a good idea to have this on. And then the most important one, disable hyper relay tech. The author of this particular mod has released an updated version of this mod that allows you to turn off other mega type mega structures. But the only one I'm interested in turning off is hyper relays. Because if you've stuck around my channel for over the years, you know that the reason I quit playing this game last time was because the DLC released and it came with hyper relays and I found them to be awful. Bad design decision ruined the game for me. But through the power of modding, we are able to remove them. So I'm hopeful that Stellaris will go back to being a very enjoyable experience for me. So let's get started with a new game. I have created a new Species for me to play that is not like most of the species I usually play on this channel. So for those of you who have always asked, play something different, we're going to play something different. This is the Suvera Spiritual Dynasty. The most important thing about them is their origin. I made them this, Teachers of the Shroud. This is a new origin that came out that I have not had a chance to play with yet. I didn't even know it existed until I started digging into the game again. So long before the first steps onto the galactic stage, this civilization has been supported and shaped by a Shroudwalker coven. Uh, it blocks all ascension paths except for psionic, and you gain the latent psionic trait right out of the gate. I find this to be incredibly awesome because this is the cool thing. You don't have to play around and try to get the psionic trait. You start with it. This seems like a really cool origin to me. Granted the ability to build a shroud beacon on a starbase, and they start in contact with a shroudwalker enclave. You have to be some form of spiritualist, and you cannot have the fanatic purifier civic. I thought all of that was really great. So, go back to, let's see, back, back, back. Go back to done. Oh no, back. This, this is the page I wanted. So here, you can see they're an oligarchy. Faction you need to gain is plus 15%. They're ascensionists. Planetary ascension effects plus 25. The ultimate goal of this empire is to ascend to ever greater levels of fulfillment. Very spiritualist ideal right there. But how do you keep people being spiritualist? Especially when they find out it might be all bunk. Well, you need a police state. So I had a good laugh creating this species. To quash any traces of dissent population in this repressive society is carefully monitored and controlled by a large international police force telepaths gain unity and so do enforcers so i thought that was pretty cool they're egalitarian we're gonna invite anybody else to come into our spiritualist ways these guys are almost like mormons right uh, specialist pop resource output you get your bonus and your faction you need to gain plus 25 percent in addition to the um the plus that you're going to get from, where was it? One of the other, th oh, this. And plus 15 there. So that's nice. It's a plus 40 bonus total. And Fanatic Spiritualist, monthly unity, plus 20%. Edicts upkeep, minus 20. I like all of that. Seems really fun. So 
we're going to be done and we're going to go. What I'm going to do is reset everything to the default here. And there, there are no more small... Oh, there is a small 400 star system. Okay, I want to play on that. I don't want to play on a huge map to start with. And what I want to do is put it on... Oh, let's see. Civilian. The player gets massive bonuses. The player gets bonuses. Ensign. The AI has no inherent economic, scientific, or military advantages over the player. This is what I want to play on. It's an even playing field for both of us. And the reason for this is because I have heard the AI in the game has gotten markedly better. So I want to see how much better it is so we're going to do that no need for scaling difficulty or adjustments there's some really cool stuff in here now on this screen that i really like and one of those things is uh i like let's see what is it difficulty adjustment this empire-wide economic modifiers are multiplied by difficulty bonuses for ai empires this makes late game ai economy significantly stronger for example a technology which gives a 20 percent mining will instead give plus 40 percent mining for ai empires on grand admiral i like this and on harder difficulties i could totally see turning that off to again make things more balanced if you're kicking the ai's butts for now we're just going to go even playing field xeno compatibility enables or disables the xeno compatibility ascension perk we're going to be egalitarian we want to try this anyway so it's nice to have that one on um and then everything here is default but of course you know me i like to go for iron man so it says uh achievements kind of check some is modified oh mods are going to turn achievements off okay that's in i assume that's why that is we're still going to turn iron man on. so i'm not worried about getting achievements anymore i just want to have a little bit of fun with the game and i want to see what it's like and how much it's changed and i know people have been asking me to play stellaris and in fact i put out a poll recently for my patreons and on twitter no surprise both the patreons and twitter said stellaris so here we are back at the thing that popularized this channel no doubt about it so here comes our inco incoming transmission elder hot oct Taktar. our students for generations we have taught you seeding our knowledge of the shroud and its mysteries within your dreams now that you have reached the stars your true apprenticeship is at hand the path forward will not be an easy one to light the way we grant you knowledge of the shroud beacon device of great power once built on one of your star bases the beacon will spawn a shroud tunnel. Choose its location carefully as you will not be able to spawn another. In times of need and uncertainty, call on us. In dreams, we will be watching. In waking life, we await your arrival. Well, excellent. So, permits the building of the shroud beacon. Creates a shroud tunnel. Okay, only one tunnel can be spawned. And we receive some crystals. Very nice. Well then. Let's see what the galaxy looks like. Okay, we're there, and there's Shroud Walkers. Oh, wow. Well, we're going to want to get up there and, like, collect that, aren't we? And Shroud Walkers here. That's cool. And we've got some planets real close by. Tropical World, yeah. Two guaranteed planets close by. Very close by, in fact. Okay. Well... Why don't you get started? Oh, I can't build mining stations yet. Okay. Well, we know this planet is here. And this this is really cool. We're boxed in here. Well, why don't you go get started there? Survey that system. Let's look at what our home world has. Auto designated planet automation. So you can turn that on if you want to. Automation is off. So let's take a look at the research. Physics and research. Fusion reactor. Yeah, blue laser. Hmm. Okay. Well, research from researchers, I guess. Uh, you know what? I might change my mind about that. Oh, what is this? Let's do blue lasers first. Oh, empire size from pops minus 10 cyanic theory. Wow. Okay. This technology will remain as a valid option until it is researched. Fantastic. Hydroponics farm on a hydroponic bay grants a lump sum of unity. Monthly unity plus 5% unlocks additional edicts campaigns. Ooh, I like all these things. Okay, let's do that. Uh, minerals from miners, baby. Bring it on. Okay. Well, the home planet. So. Yeah. What do we want to do here? So this 
Oh, we, we can't build anything anyway because we need to get to work. Okay. Well, let's speed things up a little bit. And take a look at what's going on. How's everybody doing? It's a Saturday. The No Man's Sky Sunday videos have been fantastic. People are really enjoying those, which is really cool. Okay. First selection. So I thought we would do something similar with this and start doing Saturdays. Be for Stellaris. Oh, yes. Now I got to get back to this expansion. New colony start with one additional pop. That's tempting right there, especially because especially because we have a minus 10% to pop growth speed because we're so chaste. Um, or chaste, I guess, is the proper pronunciation of that. Yeah, let's do expansion. I always go for science usually, but um, yeah, science. That's usually my first thing. Survey speed, 35%. I'm not going to worry about that so much. Politics. Okay, this is cool. This is a new one for me. Carefully worded rhetoric will make it clear that our support comes at a cost. Those we help owe us, and one day we will collect. Whenever a res resolution that you supported passes, gain one favor on that. Wow, that's cool. <gasps> Minus 25% influence cost to veto our proposed resolutions. Ooh, so they added some stuff for diplomacy. That's cool. And psionics. Awesome. The Psy Corp, like an ever, ever vigilant eye, will peer into the minds of our citizens, defending society from those who might do it harm. Unlocks the building of the Psy Corps. That's awesome. The thoughts of other empires echo in the shroud. By listening, our telepaths can learn much to our advantage. Base intel of... Oh, okay, so there's some espionage stuff there. You gotta do both of those before you can do this. The Great Awakening. The eye that pierces all veils is closed. Only with great effort can it be opened and our true power awakened. All latent psionic species will unlock their full psionic potential. Wow. Okay. That is cool. I am very excited about that. Master shipwrights. Yeah. All this stuff that used to be there. Unyielding, which is great. Resistance is frugal. That is awesome. Our people take great comfort in the strength of the bulwarks that guard our planets and view them as vital to ensuring a more prosperous future. Yeah. Defense armies produce unity. Oh. Defense army health is... That's nice. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to go with expansion for now because I want this colonization fever thing. So, I like that. That is very cool. And our construction ship can start building. Okay. And on our planet... System survey complete. Okay, excellent. You've surveyed that... I suppose what I should do is have you do this. Do that. So we can get this other planet. Then you can come around. We'll get another science ship. Headed off into the great yonder over here. In a bit. What's it cost for me to build a new science ship? A hundred alloys? We can do that. Okay, so yeah. Colonies start with one additional pop. And what's this? Starbase influence cost. Minus 10. Let's do that one first because we're not going to send anybody to colonize that planet right this second. We need to get... We need to get a little bit of growth under our sleeve. Complete. Very nice. Okay. Mr. Const and part of the reason is we have to go do this. Okay, so we have this science ship. Let's assign a leader. Oh, I love seeing this. That is fantastic. Okay. Well then, let's recruit somebody. Oh, who do we want? We got... What do we have for science right now? I haven't done, I haven't played this game in so long. It's going to take a little bit of time to remember where everything is at. Technology. So I have a statecraft person. Okay, I have somebody with a specialization in each slot. Oh, no, I don't. You are a research speed plus 5%. So I don't have a biology person there, but you have research speed, so you should stay there. Okay. Well, in that case, yeah, go back to the map. Well, then what can we get here? Now, see, there's, there's nobody generally better than anybody else. So let's grab research speed computing because you're young. Maybe you can develop a trait. 
Maybe you can develop a trait. And what I'm going to do is send you out here. Let's get you... How do we want to server this? I think this is a dead end over here. And that looks like it might be a black hole. That'd be great if it is. All right. We're back to Stellaris. So much fun. Our main game for so long. I still like this game at its core. Okay, here we go. Now, we're still not going to send anybody over there real fast yet. So what do we got? Starbase, upkeep, and empire sizes. Neither one of those are important. So let's grab this and then, and then we'll send somebody over there. Anomaly. All right. So challenging. Save it for later. Let's see. What do we have over here? Okay. Ah, things are moving along. Oh, she gained a level. Okay. Nice. Good job. Okay. Construction ship. Hmm. Well, I suppose. Why don't you move to here? Yeah, because the system survey is complete, right? Yep, let's do that. So you're clear to build there. I'll take a look at the planet, though. What do I want to do? It's got these these features. What does it have? Industrial wasteland and one sprawling slum. Oh, and we can start getting rid of things right now. Good. Okay. Might want to do that while we have a little bit of money here. Lush jungle, max agricultural districts plus two, plus two, and the one pop is created. Let's do that one right now. What do we have for buildings? Nothing that we can build right now. There's stronghold, temple, of course, because there's what? There's two temples down already. Wow, we are really spiritualist, aren't we? Research lab, precinct houses, luxury, the hall of theater, commercial zones, civilian industries, a duck done monument. Okay. And alloy fingers. All right. Let's get going then. It's going to be real interesting not doing my usual speedy research stuff and robots and all that stuff, but this should be fun. I assume what's going to happen is we're not going to end up with a lot of space to start out with and we're just going to have to grow very slowly and very carefully. Okay, so life forms... All right. A third more radical group push for preemptive action against them. Yeah. We shall greet the Xenos with the open arms. Gain 50% more influence from each successful first contact process. Yes. We're egalitarian. We're willing to welcome anybody into our realm. All you have to do is be spiritualist and like our police state. <laughs> All right, back up here. Let's go to pop growth speed. Let's so that effectively neg negates our negative trait, which will be good. Anomaly found. I like how she says anomaly, not System anomaly, anomaly, like a garden gnome. Scientist revealed as psychic. While it's rare for psychic powers to manifest after adolescence. Is not unheard of. Scientist Tupropok has recently been displaying abilities that were suspected to be psionic in nature. Yeah. So which scientist is that? It's this one. Right? Yeah. Because who was the other one? Let's go to our leaders. Oh, yeah. Cause, so we had this one and they've been out surveying. So that was the one that was psychic and this one developed it. Tupropok. That's cool. Oh gosh, it's gonna be fun. I'm glad they put this origin in for for people who want to play psionic because strategic resource discovery. I think this is gonna be really cool. The edicts. Okay, so what is this? Surface is littered with tail cenotaphs carved from some mineral. What do we do? Engineering research gained or make digital reproductions of the monoliths widely available for our empire. Let's try that System option. Survey complete. Six pops gain the xenophile ethic. Awesome. That's not bad. That kind of works with egalitarian, so I don't mind that. I'm not going to complain about that one. Shrinking star. 
The ISS Ersk Tull enters the Harmuth system. Something seems awry. The sun, previously registered as an ordinary dwarf star, appears to have shrunk, having lost mass at an alarming rate. The planets in the system have, as a result, recently entered ice ages. <laughs> Stellar Devourer. Deep within the star. <laughs> That's why it lost mass. It's eating it. Hey, can I get the Stellar Devourer to come eat away some of me and get rid of some of this COVID weight I've gained? That'd be great. That's what I need is a Stellar Devourer. Battle stations. Oh, the scientists evade them. Okay, well, I don't know if you're going to be able to get it. Leave that one be for now. I need to move you guys over here. Okay, are you guys going to be able to get away? Stellar Devourer right there. Contact report, Leviathan. The Suvera populace is praying. The giant being encountered in the dark has caused many a denizen of the Empire to fear for their sanity or doubt their faith in the divine. Are these giants the guardians of all life that created it or its enemy? Proof of the divine. Beans to test our faith. Proof of the divine. Let's see what happens when we do that. Proof of the divine? No? Maybe not. So we gotta wait for that science ship to come back. Okay. Well. It managed to escape though. That's nice. Okay. Well, you... Yeah, there's a thing you can research right there. I need somebody out here doing this. So go do that. Okay, and we have a pop up here and a and a right need to put them to work, don't we? We don't have enough happiness, do we? Oh, well. Let's fix that with the whole theater and put that person to work. Situation mode Sublight exploration probes. Before we developed faster than light travel, several sublight exploration probes were dispatched from Suvara Prime at near relativistic speeds towards nearby systems. Scientists who developed the probes naively included sensitive information about our culture in their memory cores as a form of greeting to alien civilizations. It has now been realized that this data could potentially be used against us. We need to track down these probes before they are found by someone or something unsympathetic to our species. Can't have gotten far. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. Well, then. Sublight pro okay. So, oh, so we have to search in these systems for it. Oh. I see. Hmm. Okay, and what is this? Track on map. Yeah, what, can I track the whole thing? Yes, good. Okay. That's cool. That's nice. Well then. Hmm. The devourer. I need one more science ship, don't I? Well, I get this science ship back. That'll help. Okay, what do we have here? Starbase upkeep. Empire size. Yeah, let's... We're rolling through those good early. I have to get up with the plan for number two. It's probably time... Oh, the science ship returned. Ruined interstellar assembly. The remains of a vast space station have been found in Ejok. Judging by the amount of what seems to be office space and a vast forum outfitted with dozens of different types of life support systems, our scientists suspect that this is all that remains of an interstellar assembly. Geothermal fracking. Okay. Army damage worker. Oh, worker re out. Oh, that'd be nice. Let's get that. We could use the worker output. But this is an ejoc. Ooh, we're going to want to get up there and get that, aren't we? Okay. We're, yeah, we're going to need another science ship. Hmm. What do I want you doing? Why don't you research that anomaly and then we'll build a third science ship and get that underway. I think that would be a good plan. Shipyard. It's been a while since I've done this, so... And then let's start getting planets colonized here. This one is a size 12. And this one is size 17. Let's get this one first, even though strategically you kind of want to get that one first because it's a choke point. But 
Oh, and it's the Ute Empire. Ancient alien civilization on Ejok. I'd rather colonize this huge planet first, so let's do that. Sonified science. Okay. Society research gains. That's nice. Let's colonize this. So we build a colonize, and it's on Schoberg. See, and it doesn't say Prime after it, which is nice. It's just Schoberg. This is actually Schoberg 3, so I'm going to name it. It's the... Yeah, I want to name it like that. That's nice. It's the only planet in that system, so that's why it was named Showbug. But I'll, I kind of like it with the three on there. Because that's what it was. That's what it was. Alright, so you... Build the star base there. System survey complete. Okay, brand new science ship. Let's recruit... Oh, what do we have here? What is this? This is new. That's a new icon. Mindful. Anomaly discovery chance, 5%. Archaeology excavation speed, minus 5%. I'm definitely recruiting you. Putting you on a ship. You're not going to be the old archaeology person, but what we're going to do with you is make you go here and... Yeah, go there. Holy cow, look at this place. That is busy. Okay. You could probably slow things down a little bit here. Yeah. Lump sum of unity. Monthly unity unlocks additional edicts. Edicts fun, plus 25%. Pop growth speed. Oh, let's do that. Okay, my friend. We get this unlocked. Courier network. We get our first ascension perk. Ooh, there's going to be new ones here. This is going to be fun. Lord of War. Mercenary enclave capacity. Right, that was the mercenaries. Yeah. Interstellar Dominion. The stars beckon and we follow. Starbase influence cost. Don't care about that. Consecrated worlds. These are always fun. Yeah. Consecrate worlds. Consecrating uninhabited planets up to three. Increases spiritual essence attraction. I want that, but I'm just not sure I want it just yet because we don't have any other... We don't, we don't have a way to use it right now, so it seems like we should hang on to it for a while. Clear blocker cost. Master of nature. I like this one. It increases uh, our base on our planets by two districts hmm leave the level cap and shared destiny available envoys your subjects do not suffer monthly loyalty penalties from you having multiple subjects oh really I kind of want it for the envoys though oh man technological ascendancy research this is usually the first one and it makes sense to grab it now because so many of these other ones we can't be grabbed right right this second um, yeah, so I got to think about what I want to do here. Okay, one second. Yeah, so after looking at this a little bit more, uh, trying to sort of come up with a plan, that was usually the whole idea was to get a plan. It's interesting that it doesn't show the psionic ones here. Is it, I wonder if that's a different path thing now. The game has changed enough here. I'm really curious to see how that works. I'm going to grab Tech Ascendancy for right now. Consecrated Worlds is definitely going to be one of the ones we're going to come at later. Okay, so this science ship is saying, I am sleepy. Okay, I want you to go down here. And this science ship... I want to go to survey that system. And then that science ship is done there. There's a pretty good size research project there. Why don't you go do that one? It's going to take you a little while. That's fine. Complete. Build those things. Okay, everybody's happier. That's good. Ion Trail. Okay. There's an Ion Trail leading away from a buoy on a trajectory towards another star, suggesting that someone has towed the probe there for unknown reasons. Situation log updated. Where to? Where have they towed it off to? Okay, well, at least you found that out. I want you to go here. Here. 
here. Survey that while you're there. And then survey that. Go around this guy. This dude here, we're going to block that off so nobody goes there. Let's put that off limits. We don't want anybody getting destroyed by the Stellar Devourer. That would be bad. We're going to need consumer goods real soon. So let's just get civilian industries going right now. We're going to need that. We're going to need more minerals. I'm going to do a balanced. Oh, no. We've detected what appears to be a naturally occurring subspace phenomena on the edge of Escaminza. A rift, a wormhole. Okay. Oh, it's that structure. Oh, no. Who died? Scientist Genic Tor died. Where did they die at? Oh. I should have paid attention. Fleet in the Escaminza system. Oh, they died there. Oh, they died there. Oh, rats. Scientists has died. Oh, no, I lost two scientists. Because I had both of them. I had one going over the survey and I had another one going to wrap around. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, bugger. Well... Dang it, there goes two promising scientists out the door. That's so unfortunate. Energy credits from Tex. Let's see that. Wow, that's a bummer. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought this would be the only hostile thing over here, and we got slammed. We are spreading our faith to a new world. Yes, we are. We're spreading the disease, as Queensryche once said. Okay, there's the first science ship. Well, let's hire a new leader. What is this? Anomaly discovery chance. Get going. You're going to have a chance to go get an anomaly over there. <laughs> We're going to go get Ejok. That's a nice system. It's got some chunky stuff there. we got to find out what's going on down here. Signs of battle. Mount Graveyard Expedition. Okay. Good job. You got this done, and it's a Mount Graveyard Expedition thing? Cool. I want you to go over here and tell me what's going on over there. Wait a minute. No, we went over there already. So, wow. We we can't get over to this area because of the two hostels. Enigmatic Fortress. We're going to need some fleet power, aren't we? Okay, why don't you go over here? Actually. Oh, we can't do anything with that system until it's claimed, can we? Okay. Can we get an archaeology person? Nope. Just leader experience game. Right. Well, in that case, research that project. Leader experience gain. Hmm. Construction complete. Okay. Grab that. And then when you're done with that, go grab this. And grab this. Very interesting. I like this. There's some dark matter there. That's nice. There's Mr. Big and Spooky here. I mean, it looks like we'll be able to get around this, these bad things here. But for the immediate time period, it's going to be kind of nice. These things will block off any potential arrivals. <laughs> I like that we started in a very isolated section here. This is really cool. Special project complete the team under science officer Jopawek has finished their expedition on Soberg and returned to the ISS Kaltumon. Thankfully, the starship graveyard on the surface provided to be a technological treasure trove. Oh, how nice. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't need two construction ships, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get two of them. Yeah, why don't you move to right there? Because you're going to be able to do that archaeology site real soon. Should we go get this world? Uh, 16. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we'll do it after this. Well, look at who we have. Oh, they're spiritualists as well. Well, we greet you as equals and friends. 
the Saloran Watchers. Hey, that's potentially somebody that we could be in an alliance with. Okay, what do we have now? Adaptability is always nice. Habitability, resettlement costs, building slots. All of that is so nice. Building and district strategic resource costs and upkeep reduce. Those are all nice. Discovery, of course. Survey speed. Survey speed isn't a big deal for us. Research subsidies. Leader experience gain. I'm not as worried about that. Prosperity. Building, building. City districts provide additional housing. Upkeep from jobs is minus five. Specialist output is higher. I like all of that. Ship build stuff. Harmony. This is be the other one. Governing and ethics attraction. Pop demotion time. Leader lifespan. Edix fun and stability. Those are all very nice, but I'm going to go for adaptability right off the second one. I like that. It just... I think because the first people we ran into are also spiritualists, I don't feel bad about not going militaristic right off the gate. Right out of the gate. That's that's normally what I would have done there. Been a little worried and probably gone militaristic, but this is going to work out good. All right, I want you to do excavation on that site. We're going to need to start building some ships here soon. We have 837. Okay. We're going to go check out the ship designer here shortly. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Excellent. Good spirits. Engineering research or coil gun. Construction complete. Let's get this. The faithful have claimed a new world. Construction Build complete. research statements. Excellent. Okay. Faithful have claimed a new world. Oh. That's what we like. Okay, so what are we going to build there? Nothing yet because we need some minerals. Ruined interstellar assembly. Oh, and so mega structures now show up here. I remember that a long, long time ago. Last time I was playing the game, I was saying that there needed to be something up here to show all your mega structures. And it looks like they put them under the outliner, which is totally logical choice. Oh. Thank you, Paradox. This is... That is going to be a very nice change. Oh my gosh. I'm going to love that. Okay, construction ship. You're going to move your way up here and do this. Build a research station there. Construction complete. How's our sprawl working out? Empire size 62. Well, the Empire says is at or below 100. No other costs are being modified. Current state of climate on Ushakaron 3 is the cause of runaway greenhouse effect. Ooh. Scattered ruins from the indigenous civilization can still be found on the surface, suggesting an overpopulation culture that perished in the mid to late stages of an industrial age. In other words, Earth. Construction site. Let's see. Yeah, build these. I gotta wait for a little bit more. Okay. You're waiting. Anomaly found. Anomaly. Faction founded. Okay. So we get our first factions. What is this? Friends of Liberty Society. They want anti-autocratic free movement. Complete. Benevolent subjugation policy. Our, hold on. Let's see what this is. Our subjects look to us for guidance and protection. And we should strive to repay their trust by respecting their liberties. Adopting a benevolent approach to subjugation will please the friend. Benevolent approach to subjugation. First contact protocol. Subjugation, war terms, balance, vassalage. Benevolent vassalage. Our subjects are as much a part of us as we are of them. Their success is our victory and we shall move forward as one. Initial vassal agreement terms. Integration prohibited. Independent diplomacy. Expansion permitted. Joins overlord wards. Defensive, defensive. Subject holdings. I see. And so balanced is integration prohibited. Oppressive. Integration permitted. Limited diplomacy. Expansion prohibited. Joins overlord wars. All. This is joins overlord wars. Defensively. Expansion is regulated. Very interesting. Okay. Well, I don't think for the extra faction stuff I need to flip it right now. I'm going to leave that where it is. I want to see more about how vassals work out. 
Resettlement is prohibited. No, 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 no. We're gonna we're gonna allow this. Pops can be forcibly resettled between planets. We'll change that when we need to. We don't need to yet, so there's no reason to change it yet. Initial border status open. Economic policy mixed. Trade, wealth creation. That's great. War robotic workers are allowed. That's great. Research debris. What's this? We can decide whether we should research or scavenge the fleets of fallen enemies. Oh. So we will scavenge resources from the remains of our enemy ships. Oh, well, yeah, okay. That's a good one to change later when you've pretty much got the tech advantage. You might as well just scavenge instead. Huh. Refugees, citizens, species only. Refugees, welcome. Those fleeing death and persecution at the hands of tyrants will be welcomed within our borders. We cannot allow compassion to overpower good sense. Only those who will be, be worthwhile additions to society should be brought in our borders. Okay. That sounds like a role-playing thing we'll stick with for right now. Slavery prohibited. That's good. Population controls. Long-term demographics is too important a matter to be left solely in the hands of individual actors. Can use non-voluntary species and planetary population controls. Can selectively grow declined species. If that becomes an issue, we'll do that later. Okay, so science ship here. Then what I want you to do is go survey this system. Let's find out where all this attaches to. And you are still waiting. Waiting for 500. Okay. And you're going to wait even longer if I have to build something here, so. System survey complete. What, and you're up here? Where are you at? Yeah, you're right there. I don't need you researching an anomaly there yet. I want you to go over here and find out what's going on over there. What is this? It's an ocean world. Oh, how nice. Modified probe. A sensor sweep from the IIS Ersk Toll has revealed one of our sublight probes in the Widbarrel system. But it seems to have been altered somehow. Modifications of an alien origin have been attached to its hull, and the probe's energy signature is far greater than it should be. We are receiving a transmission from it. Uh, are you the makers? Yes, we made you. Changes to hostile. Oh, modified probe changes to hostile no matter which one you choose. Then you shall die. What do we have? You guys get out of there. What is this little thing? Look at you, modified probe. You're very cute. You're such a little hostile thing. Well, you guys get out of there. Okay, in that case... Research that anomaly. Huh, we'll have to go take that probe out, won't we? Well then. Hmm, what do I want you doing, mister? Go down here and build a starbase there. Do we have the 400? We do. Start building. Get all that fancy stuff. Habitable world survey. That's commendable. Okay, so you, I said, go build Starbase there. Okay. Modified probe defeated. Long range scans have confirmed that someone else destroyed our modified probe in the wood barrel system. Fortunately, nothing remained of its memory banks after the battle, so there's no chance of foreign powers having acquired the sensitive data that was contained therein. Well, nice. Okay. So our neighbor's over here. Salvagers detected. We have found our missing probe. A small fleet of jury rigged ships has been detected in the Urukanan's Maw system, and one of them has the probe locked in a short range tractor beam. They are hailing us. What you want, alien? This probe is ours. Salvage. We find first. You leave now, yes. Interrupting delicate operation. Your ships are. Must concentrate. Or. If you want probe, we can sell. 100 credits and probe yours. Good deal. Very good. You get probe. Let's work for us. Everybody wins. Especially us. Uh, you drive a hard bargain, but I'll take it for 100. That's reasonable. 
Very good, very good. We release probe into your care. May it be a bit banged up. There was accidental collision during salvage operation. Migwai fell on controls, clumsy off. But probe still in good condition. No refunds. We depart now. Well, probe transferred. Salvage has kept the word and transferred the probe over to our control. As soon as the transfer was complete, their fleet departed in the system on an unknown heading. Although the probe is in rough condition, we managed to download detailed sensor readings of the entire Ukrainon's MAW system from its memory base. <laughs> well, that's nice. We got a couple probes still out here. That's cool. Lost in space. The signal we intercepted was a distress call from a ship in orbit around Ushakaran 5. The ship is not giving off any heat signatures and seems to be drifting. A special project has been issued to investigate what has happened to the crew. Intriguing. Situation log updated. Derelict ship. Metallic puddles. After a recent rainfall, colonists have noted metallic puddles appearing on the surface of Shobug. These puddles have a viscous consistency like liquid metal. Leave them alone. They may be toxic. Investigate further. Well, we must investigate. They probably are toxic, but we're still going to investigate. The spirits have granted Let's us colonize the this world. Yes. The spirits Runium. Have us new wisdom. <laughs> the spirits are very quick to grant that wisdom. Let's see. The viscous metallic puddles on Schulberg are eluding colony scientists. So far, their origin is undetermined, and they have been resistant to our probing. Our instruments are struggling to decipher their chemical makeup. We have more tests to run if we want answers. Keep trying. Construction complete. Okay. Jane Clinics. Yes, please. Select research. Survey speed. Not a big deal. I think I'd rather have the physics or the fusion reactor. Let's go fusion reactor there, buddy. Okay, now we actually have somebody who needs a job, which is great. And then you guys are happy for right now, but you're going to need a little, a little city love art soon, aren't you? Okay, construction ship. So you did that one. That's cool. I suppose this is a choke point off in this direction. We should go get this. Elementary, dear leader. A new element has been discovered on Schulberg. After a breakthrough in the case of the viscous metallic puddles we have discovered, the puddles comprise a unique chemical element. The element, which we're calling Zobergalonium, is present in the air on Zoberg. But when introduced to high precipitation takes on the viscous consistency we have seen on the planet's surface, their appearances are cyclical, much like dihydrogen monoxide based puddles. <laughs> A fascinating discovery. Our understanding of the elements continues to grow. We have much to learn. Issue special project. Fascinating meteorology. Okay. That's cool. Get another one of these. Habitability plus 10%. Building and district strategic resource. Cost and upkeep reduce. I want this. Grab that habitability one. White hell. Despite the seemingly frozen surface of Ushkaran, the planet's orbital path around Ushkaran leaves it blistering at several hundred degrees. Under normal circumstances, this would sublimate the ice on Ushkaran 6's surface. However, extreme gravitational pressure exerted by the planet's ultra-dense core keeps the water in a solid state, resulting in a planet of fiery hot ice. Well... You know what I say to that? Clank some of that off into a glass and pour some whiskey over it and let's see how that works. <laughs> Plus four to whiskey factories. <laughs> Barren grounds and vibrant skies, a beautiful bubble. Once down on the surface of a Megothora, what is it, a Megothora 4, it was clear that a civilization had indeed flourished here until as recently as a few centuries ago. At some point, a sudden and total catastrophic event gripped the world. Apparently, some sort of... What is this? 
internecine struggle. What? Uh, it's hard for me to read with that text. A different font would help. Some sort of struggle between nation states led to a terminal exchange of weapons of mass destruction. Oh. Oddly, although the surface is scoured clean and dead, the sky is alive with the shifting hues of a perpetual aurora borealis. It's a striking vista. The desolate steel and stone carcasses of entire cities painted by the vibrant scintillating colors dancing in the sky. Keep digging, my friends. Okay. And this science ship is where you're up there and you're saying, hey, I found this thing. I can research this project. Go for it. Well, Stellaris, so far, so good. What is this? We have a timed project. Which one is it? This one? This is a timeout in 987 days. Okay. Finishes in 180 days. Oh, wow. The ship in orbit around Ushkarun 5 was not abandoned. The crew was alive, but not well influenced by some sort of brain parasite with the help of our scientists they could easily be cured oh okay. An alien empire now speaks to us the, the galactic vrin imperium they are spiritualists what there's pacifists they're not spiritualists they're pacifists and materialists with a little bit of xenophobe in them i speak on behalf of the galactic vrin imperium and i come with a message for your depraved species as long as you stay out of our internal affairs and treat our great leader, Emperor Potel I, with reverence, there may yet be peace between our nations. We pursue true equality. Do not stand in our way. Honks. Well, 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 well. Oh, they're right here. Okay. Well, look at you, losers. All right, science ship. Well then, I need you to do something more interesting than what you're doing right now. This guy's going to go down here in this direction. So I want you to go here. We're going to choke this off. Choke point this. Are you still building? Yeah, you are. Good for you. Build away, my friend. And what do we get for this? This is spiritualist ethics attraction is plus five percent and priest jobs plus two we have gained invaluable insight into the unique weather systems of Schoberg three in addition to expanding our understanding of chemical elements our recent research has had positive implications for food production Ooh, we gain a bunch of food add metallic puddles with the following result max ag districts three and puddle tech not puddle technician jobs what does that add Hold on, I gotta see that. Okay, puddle technician jobs? What is this? It's gotta be a feature, right? Dangerous wildlife, dust caverns, metallic puddles. Puddle technician jobs. What does a puddle technician do? That's what I wanna know. <laughs> what is this? Puddle technician, it produces food and alloys at the same time. Oh, fantastic. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Okay. I like special stuff like that. That's really cool. It's one of the things that this game does. It's really neat. Build a research station. Yeah, okay. Encounter an Escaminza. Oh, somebody else went over there. We have made first contact with the mysterious aliens in Escaminza system. For now, we have codenamed them Ion Aliens until we can find out more about them. If they possess a language, we must decipher it. Yes. Construction complete. Yes. Yeah, so there's the Enigmatic Fortress. Was it the Enigmatic Fortress that blew us up? I didn't realize it was hostile. I guess it is, though, isn't it? You got to go in there with a pretty good fleet. And then it keeps attacking and attacking or something like that. What do we have over here? A tomb world. Hey, that's one we can consecrate if we can get it within inside our borders. This may be our expansion route right through here. This would be cool to get all of this, wouldn't it? That would be worthwhile. Okay. All right, construction ship. What do we want to do with you? How much can we grow here? 
I'm not worried about this. It's a 65. Looking at the rest of this, though, we got a bunch of those. And what's our, our influence is 196 and it costs what to go do this 56. Yeah, keep moving. Let's keep moving down this direction. I think this is going to be our expansion path. I could be wrong, but it looks like theirs loops around and goes this way. I think all of this may be isolated through us, which would be fantastic. We are spreading our faith to a new world. Yep. So you're going to build mining districts, research stations. We're going to leave we're going to leave border buffer between us and these guys even though they're both spiritualists. Mining subsidies, Corvette build speed. So much good stuff here. Uh, let's go for that. The hard part is going to be defense, of course. Because this there's two points here and two points here. There's a box. And that is a very bad defensive position. An abandoned life pod was detected in close orbit of Kirim 2. It is covered in scorch marks. Presumably from when the pod's mothership exploded. And preliminary scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. The crew of the Jaljiklin managed to open the pod. Revealing the withered remains of a reptilian alien clad in a resplendent uniform. Clutched in one of its claws was a small picture of another individual from the same race. Possibly a mate or revered leader. Poor guy. Construction okay. complete. Yeah, so you guys can just truck on down here. What are you doing? One of you guys is... Oh, they're both surveying. One's moving to survey. You guys can survey the heck out of that place. And let's get moving. I think we're going to delay doing research projects. Send one off to survey these two spots over here. Three spots. And then another one to survey. And then we'll have a third one come in and sweep behind. And, and do the actual surveying of the... Uh, the actual research of the anomalies. And we've got 1.3k. So we said we were going to take a look at the... Corvettes, it says auto best, but you know how I am. I like to build these things all myself. So let's take a look at auto generate designs. I don't need to do that. <coughs> what I want to do here, clear design. Okay. So what do we have? Kinet oh, nuclear missiles. Kinetic. Actually, let's do like this. Yeah, reactor burst. I'm not even sure we need that. Let's see. Deflectors. What's this look like? We got no power? Yeah. Auto upgrade. Ship roll. Oh, wow. Screening ships carry point defense and flak, protecting the rest of the fleet from missiles. Gun ships are intended to fight other ships of their size category, bristling with as many mid-range weapons as possible. Artillery ships prefer long-range weapons and direct fire. And a brawlers are built for close fights favoring high damage but short-range weapons like autocannons and disruptors. Cool, so you can give it a roll. And this is called the Jack Backclaw. Oh, okay, so I'm going to call it CV. I'm going to call it CV Brawl. I love that you can give it a ship roll now. That's cool. Where does it show up over here, though? It doesn't really, does it? Still, let's save. Save that design. Clear this. Just trying to see where it says the roll anywhere. Is this a... Is this just a name or does it actually do something? That's what I'm curious about. Does it actually affect anything? Get rid of that one. Nuke that. Delete. Defense platforms we'll go through and do later. Okay, so this is a CV brawl, but again, it's... So if I do it... Oh, it changes it to that. 
automatically. Oh, okay. So if I do this and save it. So this is just like a way to say, if I want a gunship, it changes to that. If I want artillery, it changes to that. If I want screen, I got you. Okay. I got you. So it's just a way to quickly identify the ship. Okay. Okay, so if we go like this, this is our design. Okay. That's kind of cool, especially for novice players who are new. They're like, what do I, what do I need to build? It kind of very quickly sets a ship up for you to do that. That's cool. So I'm going to call this standard thing. I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to nuke that. My standard naming convention. People have asked for that over time. This is more of a kinetic thing. It's up close. I want to do two shields. Okay. Ship design does not have enough power. A little more expensive, but I'm going to save that. Okay. So I like that. So what do we got there? You're here. That system is surveyed. Great. So you're done. I want you to go over here. Survey there. Survey here. Let's see where this all goes. See if we can get kind of the... No suitable path to that system. No suitable path to that system. But there's one in there. Okay, yeah, do that. That'll be great. The history... Of a Megathora 4 and its lost civilization was uncovered, and although tragic by galactic standards, it was sadly typical. A civilization arose growing in technological sophistication, if not social and political harmony. Eventually, they created the tools of their own destruction and then used them. If the fate of this world and its denizens was not unique, there was something that was, and it captured the imagination of our scientific minds. The ceaseless aurora borealis effect dancing unperturbed above all the devastation. Upon closer study, the aurora effect in the sky displayed repeating patterns, which defies all previous knowledge of weather systems. Is there some message here? Is it sentient? Could it be? All right, go down here and grab this. And you. Ignore that. Ignore the anomalies for now. You, on the other hand, are going to go right there. Okay. Well, my friends. Basically up into an hour on this thing, so. This is where I'm going to leave it. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to pause it right here. Episode 1. In the books. Stellaris Saturdays. Look forward to these. Leave your questions and comments down below. Let's tweak the algorithm. Let me know what you think. We're back. We're going to play this. We're not going to have hyperlane relays. So it should be quite fun. The ge geography of the solar system should be preserved as an important facet of the game and an important military strategic element of the game. So I'm very much going to like playing without those. Very happy for that modification. Thank you, the author who created it. It's going to be awesome. Looking forward to seeing what the rest of the gameplay is like, though. So I will see you all next time. As always, remember to subscribe to the channel. Remember to like the video. Remember to share the video. Poke your friends towards it if they like Stellaris. And I will see you all next time. Until then, happy gaming, everyone.